Decades ago, Jacques St. Mars claimed that he discovered the earliest evidence of humans in the Americas at Bluefish Cave in the Yukon. He found animal bones that had clearly been modified by humans, but because they were twice as old as Clovis, about 24,000 years, he faced ridicule and career damage, dropping out of academia into a museum position. But one of the worst examples in the discipline that I never see talked about is the story of Lewis Leakey and the Calico Early Man site in the California mountains. Lewis Leakey was remarkably influential in archaeology in the 50s and 60s, along with his wife, the legendary paleoanthropologist Mary Leakey. He was a respected expert on very early human lithic technologies. He co-developed the earliest iterations of the Out of Africa model of human evolution with his wife and their colleagues. Now many of you will have heard of Mary Leakey, but I'm willing to bet almost none of you have heard about Lewis. And that's because his career was destroyed, his name quietly scrubbed from archaeological history. In 1959, American archaeologist Ruth Simpson traveled to meet Lewis during his expedition at Olduvai Gorge with Mary. Ruth informed him of an amazing discovery she'd made in the Calico Hills of California of a very old archaeological site with primitive tools that appeared to significantly predate Clovis. Leakey was an expert on the kind of crude stone tool technologies that our early ancestors were using in Africa, and these shared close similarities regarding their sophistication. When he first saw what Ruth Simpson had found at Calico, he instantly recognised that her artefacts were clearly stone tools made by humans and were clear evidence of human occupation. The problem was the, the finds were from very deep in the section below an alluvial fan that dated to at least 50,000 years ago. His name no doubt helped secure a significant grant for a few seasons of excavation at Calico, and he was astounded by what they were finding there. There was no doubt in his mind that this was a very ancient archaeological site that far predated Clovis. News of the find ripped through the archaeological community and many lifelong Clovis First adherences, like Vance Haynes, visited the site and were unimpressed to say the least. This led to significant pressure on Lewis over what he was claiming to have found, even though he wasn't alone. All of the archaeologists, anthropologists, lithic experts, museum curators in this list, and many more, agreed with him. All of those experts agreed unequivocally that the Calico artifacts were archaeological, aka human-made. Despite convincing many experts educated in the proper disciplines, not even the widely respected leaky name was enough to save his career from the Clovis Mafia after they got wind of it. They likely began pressuring his wife Mary's funding organisations with her continuing Olduvai work, as she eventually disavowed her husband and tried to convince him to drop it. It's also likely that one of the Clovis Firsters even contacted the landowner and played up the value of the property's mining rights, which eventually ended the excavation. In the 60 years since the Calico fiasco, however, many more sites containing very similar lithic technologies that significantly predated Clovis have been found. In fact, what Lewis Leakey had discovered was the first real trace of a lost civilization in the Americas. Now, the words lost civilization to this kind of crowd conjure up images of Atlantis or, or high-level technology, and this is what archaeologists like to argue against, both on the internet and in the pages of peer-reviewed journals. But this lithic technology was very simple, often requiring minimal working with the goal of creating a good enough edge for the task at hand. They were very crude, and compared to a Clovis point, you could almost understand why the American archaeologists, who were spoiled by the extravagant workmanship of Clovis and post-Clovis points, were unwilling to accept they were man-made. Over the next few decades, archaeological investigations throughout the Americas began recovering crude stone tools that looked very similar to those Leakey was finding at Calico. At many of these sites, the tools were found in, in contact with other archaeological proxies, like high concentrations of animal bones, potential remains of cooking fires, etc. However, as with Calico and countless others since, critics would simply claim that the stone tools were geofacts made by national pro, uh, natural processes, and some dogmatic zealots even claimed they were made by capuchin monkeys. That was until the last couple of years. Now we have incontrovertible evidence that humans were living in the, at the site of Santa Elena at least 25,000 years ago. Archaeologists there recovered bones of a giant sloth that had clear signs of drill holes and other evidence of human agency. Even better, they were able to directly date those bones to 27,000 years old. This closely aligns with the newly confirmed white sands footprints at 24,000. Unfortunately for Vance Haynes and Stuart Feidel, these can't have been made by capuchin monkeys or natural processes.